Hi there, uh, YouTubers. We have a um, 2001 Mazda MPV, and it has a um, gas pedal that's kind of sticky on the get-go. Makes it jerky to get the car going because this gas pedal is sticking, and it's a result of the throttle body, which is basically a plate that opens and closes to regulate air into the intake manifold of the engine. And right here you see here's the cable here coming from the gas pedal. And we'll zoom in there real quickly here. So if I take my finger and just flick this the throttle body lever back here, I can feel it sticky here as well. It has a sticky feeling here. And this is basically a result of uh gumming up here around the throttle body plate which is like a little door that opens and closes and then and this comes up because you have things like um, exhaust circulating back in there from the EGR valve and a little bit of oil coming back from the crankcase as well which vents up into here this particular engine um, is known to, to uh, build up um, some stuff that needs to be cleaned out usually you can use a carb, uh, carb cleaner for that um, a lot of people just take the accordion hose off and spray some carb cleaner into the throttle body um, intake and kind of wipe it up. But usually on this particular engine, you sh it is recommended to remove the entire throttle body and clean it from behind as well. As a lot of stuff can, be, can build up because of that. Before you do that, you should probably get yourself... Um, a throttle body gasket as well because you will need to replace that otherwise you can get some vacuum leaks and cause problems and this is not a particularly expensive part uh, this particular one is made by, uh, made by Felpro so I'm going to proceed with removing the accordion holes first so I'm going to disconnect the hoses around here. There's a clamp here. I'm going to unscrew in a clamp here and just yank it away. You so you can move the air box if you want to. I'm going to try and do it a minimum amount of work. I might just pull the battery out too, just to have a little more space, but it's not necessarily required. Uh, this thing is like this. It needs to be pulled off. This is the EVAP purge valve, which basically uh, controls sucking in vapor fumes from your. Um, charcoal canister and we can just get this out of the way hoses like this you can just kind of pull off gently and it's a, you need a plier here to pull these clamps off here separate the clamp the hoses around here and then we'll disconnect the accordion hose here move that out of the way and then we'll proceed with taking the throttle body off and cleaning it so we'll just take a break there for a second and this is a just standard carb cleaner that uh, you can use to help clean the uh, throttle body plate afterwards. Alright, so we'll take uh, we'll break away there, I'll get to work and we'll come back in a second. Okay, I'm just going to grab the EVAP purge valve, which just, just, just like this, pull it out of the way. And um, what I'm going to do next is take this... Um, this you know you might have to take a pair of pliers to yank this guy off. This guy can be a little bit hard to pull out. And then next, take a pair of pliers, get in there on this hose here, and pull the two hoses, one up there and one a little farther down. So basically, disconnect all the hoses that connect to the accordion uh, accordion hose here. And then next, uh, then you just kind of loosen up these clamps here like this and it might be an idea it's optional to remove the battery if you want to just to have more room to work it's totally up to you uh, if you do so remember to disconnect the negative side first before um, unscrewing the, the, the positive terminal for safety reasons uh, and also you can also loosen this bolt here to give a little wiggle room because sometimes it's nice to have a little wiggle room to get this accordion tube is a little tight to get at. This is your mass uh, airflow sensor as well, which measures the flow rate of air going through the accordion tube. And okay, so now I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to just take these clamps, loosen these clamps further, get this hose off here, 
and get this out so we can get a better look at the throttle. Loosen the clamp here. Don't be shy. You really need to grab this guy and, and um, you know, play hardball with it a little bit. Just really pry it off. It's came loose there now. So you need to kind of grab it and just pull it up like this. And then you can continue wiggling off. I haven't even disconnected this hose yet here. Um, then you can continue wiggling off this side. And, uh, and try and get that accordion hose off. All right, so here's the accordion, accordion out. Um, so these two fittings here are for the two hoses that I disconnected here, down here. And now I'll focus on taking the throttle body out right here. You can probably have a look inside and, and see how, it looks pretty clean from here. See how gummed up it is. Okay, so here's the throttle body. You open it up here. So you can see that's the flapper there now. You zoom in. You're gonna see there's um there's that little like, gunked up stuff there. That's what we're gonna be cleaning out from behind though. So that's how we have to take it off to get that stuff out. Because that's what's kind of gumming it up and making it stick. So we're gonna clean that out in a second. That's why it looks pretty clean on the inside there. I mean you can you can spray stuff in there and try cleaning it. You'll probably put your finger, you know, if you're in a jam or didn't have time, you could probably, you know, get away with probably spraying some throttle body cleaner in there and taking a rag and cleaning around there. But in this case, we're gonna take it off and clean it from behind and make sure it's all cleaned up good. Okay, this is your throttle body sensor here. It tells the computer how, basically how you stepped on, how far down you stepped on the gas. I'm gonna just unplug it here. I um, squeeze here. I done it already and you need, to, you need to pull firmly. So squeeze in this tab here and pull firmly to release it. So now to kind of get this wire out of the way, just so we don't break the <coughs> break that wire um, when we pull that throttle body away. So now you, so basically there's a screw here, needs to be taken off. You only need a deep socket here. I'm guessing a 10 millimeter, I don't know yet. And um, here and probably two down below here and probably one over here. So we'll get there in a second. Okay, so uh, 10 millimeters socket was needed, top's gone. You're gonna need an extension um, to get at, there's one screw here, and a bolt here, and there's another bolt over here. So I'm just gonna proceed and I'm bolting the bottom two there. So you'll need a little, um, I'm just using a quarter inch, small socket's all you need. I sprayed liquid wrench on it. It was a little tight, so I sp sprayed a little bit of, um, the good wrench penetrating or whatever you use on there in advance as well to help loosen it up a little bit. Okay, there is, um, let me see here, four, there's four 10 millimeter bolts in each corner of the throttle body. The bottom two are a little bit hard to get at. You need some extensions. I also have to, you have to loosen the, the cable bracket. There's three bolts for that. So one here, one below there, and one underneath here. You loosen that and get out of the way a little bit, then you can get the last bolt here, and now she's broken loose. It wasn't that hard to break it loose. And you're gonna see all the, it's totally black. Completely black behind there, that throttle body. So it needs to be, definitely needs to be, uh, needs to be cleaned up there. It's gunked up pretty good. Here's the old gasket. So I'm gonna, you see all that grime in there? That's what it rubs against and binds. So I'm going to, uh, Look in here too. Oh yeah, nice black in there too. So I'm gonna take some carbon, um, some carb cleaner now. Spray it in there. Start cleaning it up a bit. Yeah, it's gummed up really good here. You can you can you can see it's all black and binding in here. And definitely needs to be cleaned up really good. So just spraying it from the outside probably would not have done much. You do need to really get at it from behind. So I'll just get cracking on that right now. Yeah, this is up pretty good. Got a little pie plate underneath there. I'm just gonna let it sit there and soak it. Then I'll take a little brush and clean it up.
Yeah, this throttle body, the cleaner, carb cleaner really gets the job done. I can feel it right away closing and opening the throttle body, it's, that, that was a problem. You're probably wondering why I'm working engine bay, I just didn't feel like disconnecting the cables, messing with that. Just one less headache to worry about. Or... Yep, looking really good now. I'll just take a quick towel. Let's clean it up a bit. I'll replace the gasket too afterwards. Yeah, it cleans off pretty easy with um, with the cleaner. It dissolves it, it basically sprays off. All right, I'm gonna spray it down a little more and wipe it down. Okay, got my new gasket here. And I'm going to just take off this one here first. This out of the way. I'm going to clean. Yeah, I think I'll clean up that a little bit too. And then. Take that away. And that's the new old. Okay. I'm going to dish this and put the new one on. It's worth getting the right gasket. I wouldn't bother reusing it. Getting, you know, getting vacuum leaks and stuff like that, it's just not worth it. Okay, put the gasket back in. Slide it down there. The new gasket, and I'll just use the top bolts to hold it into place for now. Okay, so I'll get the bottom two in, and then the bracket goes back on to the bracket. Kind of push it out of the way because it kind of gets in the way of the bottom farthermost bolt. So just kind of push that that uh, entire assembly off to the side, and then um, put the four bolts in, and then then bolt the three bolts in for the cable uh, throttle cable assembly bracket. All right, let me get to that. Okay, I actually recommend um, taking the battery out it's just an extra couple minutes is really makes it a lot easier finding it's because you can get in your hand underneath here and work on the lower bolts much easier with the battery gone so I wish you took it out from the beginning so yeah take the battery out because uh, it'd be a lot easier to uh, get at these lower bolts and it doesn't take that long to take it out that's some advice I just learned now I'll pass it on so I got her all bolted together and now I'm just going to put the uh, accordion back on and then fire up. I can feel a difference right away on, on, on uh, the throttle body. Alright, she's all back together again and I took her for a test spin and man, uh, the gas pedal is smooth as butter again. I can't believe I drove it that long. It was pretty sticky. So yeah, it felt, felt great. So that's all it was needed to make the job easier, take the battery out. That's what I found. And uh, okay, well, good luck. Okay, let's talk later.